Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Trevor's video here on my channel. This is enough now. And I want to break it down for you guys. On February 20th, 2018, everybody that's under 1,000 subscribers without 4,000 watch time hours, you're going to be losing your Google AdSense and basically not be able to monetize your videos until you meet that threshold. You're not going to be able to do custom thumbnails. You're not going to be able to um, have your videos where they just upload at a certain time where you can share them out when you want to share them out. And... Uh, I, it's all because of Logan Paul. And if you guys don't believe me, there's a lot of blog posts. Even uh, Philip DeFranco has said this in a blog in, in his uh, videos that a lot of this stuff is accumulated because of Logan Paul and the crap that he produces. It's it's killing the small YouTube. And he basically is doing videos, right? Yeah, and you go, yeah, he's doing videos. But because he put in these uh, the dead body, he's put in dead animals, he's done some crazy stuff, uh, publicity type of stunts, he's done that kind of stuff, and it's hurting YouTube. And YouTube's like, well, we got to step our game up and make sure not everybody's making revenue. But they're never going to take revenue from him because he's the YouTube golden boy. The reasoning they were so dang popular when Shay Carl started doing them, Charles Trippy started making these video vlogs. The reason they were so popular is it does not take any talent to make these videos. And you look at the uh, videos that are being uh, massively produced as video vlogs. You see the successful vloggers now. They're using drone footage. They're using other techniques to get their video like cinematic. They're doing time lapses. They're doing like almost movie technique style videos with uh, vlog content. And that's exactly what a lot of people are doing. You have to have like the, like the highest quality video cameras. You have to have uh, drone footage, slow motion. You got to think outside the box because videos like I'm just doing right now, like five years ago, if I was doing my video right now in five years, five years ago, like 2007, 2008, this video would probably be massively a success because people would be like, oh my God, I've never seen somebody just sit in their car and drive and talk. Just like the food reviews. Like there's a, a lot of people who do food reviews and they sit in their uh, vehicle and they just eat food and they uh, just talk. And that was highly successful, highly successful. And now it's not like the gaming channel videos. Those were massively blown up as well. A lot of those gaming channels were like super, like outrageously uh, getting massive amounts of views. And now they just aren't getting the views that they once were. So I believe YouTube is not dying per se, but the content people are producing is either so saturated that people don't want to see it anymore or you got to start thinking outside the box to do something new. And there's always going to be some new genre out there. You know, there's always going to be something. And sometimes the genres that are popular aren't that popular for a lot of people. Who wants to go and review products all the time? Maybe some people are into re reviewing products and just uh, getting uh, their views by reviewing like iPhones and cell phones and reviewing like Dr. Dre beat headphones. But the bottom line is not everybody is into reviewing stuff and not everybody has money just to uh, review products all the damn time. Let me get the uh, camera on me right now. And the problem with a lot of YouTubers is when they have a successful video, let's say it be a uh, travel video or let's say it be a certain gaming video. Um, I believe what a lot of people don't do, they don't hit right back. If they get like 800 views this video, they're not making the content right around that same topic or they're not uh, constantly uploading all the time because on YouTube nowadays, it's like you have to be daily vlogging. You have to daily upload or no one's going to even watch you. But um, it's the same thing with me, man. I've been uploading content on this channel alone since 2009. I've seen the rise and the fall. You know, 
the one reason why this channel has as much subscribers as it does, there used to be a thing on YouTube called the Cool Box. And basically, it was a way for YouTubers to basically share other YouTube content that they liked or they supported or they just wanted to give a shout out. Instead of saying, hey, shout out to Bozo the Clown if they were subscribed to you and it would like if i subscribe to let's say uh sky john which was a uh older youtuber who still makes videos but it's not the same content that he once did because he was very controversial back in the day but if you subscribe to him it would recommend my videos because my channel was in his cool box for a long time and the reasoning is uh it would say, hey, Sky John subscribed to these four people. He recommends these people. And a lot of people would be like, oh my God, if Sky John's recommending this guy or Shay Carl's recommending this guy, people would subscribe to, subscribe to my content. Doesn't necessarily mean all those people are watching my content anymore, which 90% of them aren't. I believe it's the way YouTube is up their system by saying you have to subscribe, you have to hit a bell, and a lot of times the notifications don't even get... Uh, uh shown the people because i seen uh my friend sammy her videos go from like a thousand i should say her videos were going from like 600 views 300 views uh like 40 views and now that she's doing a certain kind of video that is more dedicated towards women and haul videos her videos are going like this and her subscriber base is going like this. So you have to find the niche that is really suited for you. You really have to find a niche. Like um, the first time on my other channel where I make like guitar reviews and guitar uh, lessons, I started making videos just based around like hot topic music artists, like just music artists in general. And I noticed um, a few videos got like 800 views a thousand views 2,000 views and like so people are searching for stuff that has a hot topic so it is realistically like I'm going to tell this right to my buddy if you're watching this video dude you got to make topics that are uh, searchable like if it's a hot topic like if you heard something in the news that's a like a topic that everybody's talking about make a vlog about it like you can still do your daily vlog like like driving around in your car and vlogging and getting different angles and just vlogging but if you do it around uh that topic it might actually so show some success like um uh, i made a video a while ago a long time ago where this uh this um soccer player or i should say the soccer referee got his head cut off and that video right now is that like 30,000 views because that was a highly searched video that the oversaturation of vlogs the oversaturation of this content and people uploading like trillions of hours of video every day to this platform is what's making it impossible to get views unless you're getting shout outs by like Timothy De La Ghetto or Sexy Phil or any of these people it's almost impossible to get views and i know i'm i'm i'm, I'm i follow this small youtube channel on uh facebook like a, a page and these people are like we need a thousand subscribers and they're all saying we need to do the sub for sub thing that does not work does not work okay you don't want to have like 40 thousand people you're subscribed to because then it's gonna be so hard for you to keep up with anybody's content so i just believe that youtube is on its way down on the decline you know i really believe it's on the decline i mean you look at all the big youtubers they're getting numbers right their numbers are blowing up that's what youtube's caring about they see the numbers but they see the small guy which actually are the bread and butter of the platform we're the people that come in every day and try to upload content we try to make a name for ourselves and you're only seeing the logan pauls and the and the big guys making a, a living and making a lot of controversial content and making a, a headway when you see like probably i would say 99 percent of the youtube community has less than a thousand subscribers it's probably going like this the views are going like this but it really depends on the content you're actually making because you got to find an audience that is a uh, appealing to your content and you got to find an audience that likes what you're producing if your vlogs aren't working try something different if you just want to sit in front of your camera and just talk about a, a certain topic 
maybe that's the kind of videos you need to make instead of say, hey, I'm not going to vlog anymore. Or if you're going to go to like the springs or to the beach, go to that place and just like kind of narrate, like get a lot of, just go there and film a lot of footage and then just do a voiceover. You know, say, hey, we're here in Cedar Keys, Florida. Cedar Keys, Florida is known for this and this and whatever or jacksonville florida is known for this or that or miami is known for this and this and sometimes that kind of video is inform informal and it might get attention but my name is trevor as always i'm just telling you guys like it is um remember in five days your youtube channel will lose all rights to the uh, partnership program unless you can get a thousand subscribers and i think it's a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours 